What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. In our last video, our top comment was from Marvin. Then he wants to get the 1911 done with no akimbo on Mauer de Toten. So that's what we're doing today. And if you want to leave a suggestion for what weapon we should do next, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll have one there as well with all the weapons that we've already completed. So make sure you check that out before leaving your comment. That way you don't get any repeats. You guys have probably noticed by now that uh, we're not doing webcam today. And that's because I'm still sick. Uh, I think I feel well enough to be able to talk, but not really to be on camera. I'm still going through it but it's definitely a lot better than it was before. But anyways, here's our build for the 1911. We got the agency suppressor. I have this on mainly because it looks cool. And I think the 1911 is a lot of fun with the suppressor on, but uh, probably not the best attachment to put there, but we're, we're doing it anyways. But we got the task force barrel, the mounted flashlight, the 14 round mag and the speed tape. And for our camo progress, we actually have a decent amount done here. We have 1700 kills with it out of 2,500. Our crits are a different story though, only 200 out of 2,500. So we got a lot of those to get today. Brush stroke, we only have 300 87 out of 2500 vintage is done fauna we need everything topo we need just about everything and infection we need everything so a lot to do here today except normal kills this thing is probably gonna get done before everything else and i think we're gonna be using ring of fire today unless i feel like we can do better with a different fuel upgrade i think ring of fire is probably our best bet but let's go ahead hop on my already toten and get this thing done all right here we go flying on in and I'm thinking today is going to be a bit of a struggle because this pistol is not going to be too crazy once we hit the 30s. Like just a single pistol at round 30, going to be a little tough to take down a Panzer or two or just a whole wave of zombies for that matter. But it is pretty fun right now. I don't know what it is, but silenced pistols just they're so... I wouldn't say unique, but there's just something about them that makes it more fun to use. Like you, you feel like 007, like you're going to go in here and do something stealthy. I'm going to stay up here for like one more round. Then we'll head down and try to get all the power on. Good night. Go to bed. See you later. All right, let's open this up and zip on across. Yeah, we got to go grab our loose change from over here. There you are. Come here, zombie. Make like a tree and get out of here. Oh, double points. Hold on. Let me sit here and kill these zombies while we got double points going. There's a Cynic camo, our first camo of the day. We're still kind of doing well on our crits. I don't think we've missed one yet. Yeah, we're 24 for 24. All right, double points is over. Let's move on. Grab this loose change. Jump on down here. And Tempest, are you spawning? Yep. Don't you teleport away from me. Come here. No. Stay. Good Tempest. Let's grab this loose change. Make it across the tracks before the train comes. And grab this loose change. A lot of loose change on this map. Get this open. Never mind, I'm broke. Need one more kill. There we go. Let me on into power. I'll take this loose change. Throw on the lever. Oh no, the fuses, they're broken. Now let's go find that other Tempest. Where you at, pal? Let's open this up. Nope, never mind. Still broke. I don't think there's been too much news like regarding Cold War zombies in the last bit. Like ever since that super Easter egg, I say in quotes, uh, it seems like all the Zombies Chronicles 2 like hype has died down a lot like people aren't that hopeful for it anymore i guess which i don't blame them also amphibian camo let's go it's a lot of people were expecting a lot more out of that super easter egg like they're expecting some better rewards like anything else but i think that really just put like a damper on all the community's expectations for this game like i think they had a real opportunity to bolster cold war zombies uh oh please don't die oh shit all right well we still have the same gun on the ground that back up with all the hype surrounding the reward you get for completing all the main quests and the the talk about chronicles 2 leading up to it cold war could have had a huge revival second year and i feel like that that bag was kind of fumbled i don't know i feel like there's not that much going on in cod right now to talk about i guess the codzilla versus king or i said codzilla godzilla versus king kong events coming to warzone i think i'll probably try to play that hopefully i'm feeling well by then and then we we've been seeing all the modern warfare 2 like releases like they had people at the draft wearing like task force 141 pins and chains and things like that like it seems like they're really trying to hype up modern warfare 2 which is uh you know probably what they got to do because that's the next cod coming out it's actually not that far away plus warzone 2 coming out i don't know are you guys hyped for modern warfare 2 from you zombies players are you excited to go play like a multiplayer game you think they're going to add some sort of outside mode that zombies players would be more interested in or what's your guys thoughts on the, the current state of call of duty okay let's try not to die here we do not have uh self-revive so let's be a little careful here a little cautious actually i have an idea i'm gonna go up here i'm gonna grab this loose change and we're gonna wait for him to come up to us and the disciple's dead. I really would have rather to kill him last so I can get all of his zombies and not waste this ring of fire. Well, guess I'm gonna have to take it out on these zombies that are just spawning. I'm glad we, we popped that ring of fire for a total of five kills. Oh well, it's not like we won't get another one. Actually, all you guys get on the decoy, please. And away from me. 
Holy shit. That was such a close decoy. Get that carpenter. We got our gunrunner camo. Let's go. Zombies, sit down, please, for me. Have a seat. Night, night. Last zombie. How did that not kill? A shot to the dome did nothing to you? Okay, first of all, I'm grabbing dead shot. Ooh, didn't even need it there. The hip fire kill. And then bam, sleep. And then we really got to get quick revive next because uh, I don't want to lose. I'm not trying to hop in the game here and then completely restart. Ooh. Oh my. I forget how... I don't forget, actually. But that shot is just so, so important to me grinding camos in this game. If you watched our, our Diamati video, you can just see how awful my aim is on controller. Like, I couldn't even use a Diamati's dual wielded in multiplayer because of the lack of dead shot. I guess dead shot doesn't really help with a Kimbo, but like, at least in zombies, I'm not like tracking people jumping and sliding and everything. I, I just cannot aim for the life of me on controller. Without dead shot, this Dark Aether series would have taken four times as long. Like, I'm sure of it. It's just so clean the way it just locks the heads. Oh, it's so nice. Dead shot is so useful. Okay, now we're getting quick revive. Gotta make sure we stay in this game. Oh, we need an upgrade on this pistol soon. The dead shot, like, crit bonus is helping, like, take these zombies out. But without it, it's almost not even, like, killing these zombies. It feels like it's gonna take a few shots. Oh, there's corrosion. Getting some jackrabbits done. I think instead of getting a perk next, we definitely need pack-a-punch. I think this is our last zombie. All right, let's go get pack-a-punch. Don't die. Ooh, I forget I need stamina up to do that. I would've been so mad if I went down right there. Okay, let's grab pack-a-punch. This is what Pack-a-Punch 1 looks like on the USP. Very nice. I said the USP. I like this is Counter-Strike. This is the 1911. The 1911. Also, the suppressor is fully red on this. The secondary color on this is amazing. With that chug-jug slurp juice looking slide on top. One of the better looking Pack-a-Punch camos on this game. Oh, a self-revive. Let's go. And a level up. Now, I know the 1911 was like a base game gun. And a lot of the base game guns have terrible coverage. But if the Dark Aether coverage is anything like how this is... It's going to be kind of sweet. Actually, I don't know, because the red is our secondary color on this, right? And the secondary color for Dark Aether is just that matte black. So it's looking like only the slide on our pistol is going to have Dark Aether on it, which is disappointing. Hopefully I'm wrong. It's been a while since I've seen the 1911 with Dark Aether. Maybe I'll have a blueprint or something that makes it look better. I'm going to go ahead and throw Cryo Freeze on this. And now we can go up and sit in here, farm up money so we can get our perks. And I think we can just kind of chill up here until we get everything. I think maybe once we get like pack two or a little more perks... I'll probably try on the Rampage Inducer to make this thing go a little faster. Right now, this thing's kind of nice. After we pack-a-punch it, the damage is not a problem. I just turn, bop, gone. Bop, bop. Oh, wait. Of course, that one zombie makes it look like I'm doing no damage. But most of the time, it's just a one-tap kill. Look at that. Easy. Ooh, a little dull points. Bring me that. I'll happily take that. Anyone else? Oh, this guy. Sleep. Gone. Let's grab Speed Cola. Oh, I should probably look to see if I can get some armor. Ooh, I'm gonna wait to dig those up until I have death perception, too. That way we can get more scrap. Uh-oh. That's not where I get armor. That's Pack-a-Punch. What's up, Panzer? Come on, let me get to the armor stand, please, Panzer. This thing's kind of messing him up. Oh, he's already gone. Let's go. Give me that battery. I'm not gonna use it, but I'll take it. And grab armor. There we go. Now, one of these zombies is gonna drop armor immediately. That's just how it works. It's like buying ammo and then max ammo spawns. So let's just tear these zombies up real quick. Oh, nobody dropped armor. Look at that. And then let's grab this to green. I really need to go through and do the Easter eggs on this. I was planning on doing it, and then I ended up getting sick. But that purple tier upgrade, I was kind of shitting on the, the main quest Easter egg whatever reward before. But it is kind of nice when you're grinding camo, so I'm going to have to do it at some point here. Okay, let's grab Jug. Oh, what's up, Disciple? Sleep, gone. Nice try. The wrong place to spawn. There's our contamination camo. Getting closer on our jackrabbits. There is so much ammo in this 1911. I have 500 something bullets in the reserve, but I'm not even like close to max ammo, I don't think. Like, that's a fat amount of ammo. All right, let's grab death perception. And now we can go over here and dig all these things up. I don't know what these we're digging these things up with. Our bare hands. Oh, there's the armor. It's not like Origins where we get a shovel. We're just out here putting our hands in this dirt. Ooh, double points. Let's go. Oh, there's our rising tiger camo. We got 10 kills rapidly, 10 times, I think. I think that's what the rising tiger is. Uh oh, uh oh. Almost ran right into the whole horde. Any more things we can dig up on this side? Oh yeah, there's one. There's Klaus's satellite. Now let's talk to Klaus's brother. Let's get this thing to blue. And that's all we can do. And let's get mule kick. Oh, I guess we have enough to get something else. So let's grab stamina up. Now we won't run out of ammo, hopefully. What's the max mag on this thing? 54? How am I just now noticing it has 54 bullets? Oh, 594 is our max reserve, too. This thing is an ammo fiend. Why has it got so much ammo in it? 
That's kind of crazy. Imagine the old 1911 spawning in with that, this much bullets. No one would ever buy that M14 while by. Yeah, this 1911 is actually gross. I don't know why I don't use this enough in zombies. But it kind of beats the hell out of everything. And this is still only pack one. Just wait till I get this thing pack two. Or even three for that matter. Just locking the domes and tapping them with one bullet. Clean. Oh, we're all done with our jackrabbit medals. Don't gotta worry about getting hit anymore. And for our last perk, we'll get PhD. I guess we can get tombstone too, but... Eh. Has it always been writing on this map? Have I just never noticed it? Why are you floating? Okay. Oh, what's up, Panzer? Nice of you to show up. Guess what? Not even getting through the spawn. But you're leaving some scrap out there for me, which I, I don't like. You should have brought that inside. All right, this is taking too long. I'm gonna go turn on the rampage inducer. Actually, we still got double points for a second here. There we go. Then we gotta open this up. Let's head on up here. Where is it at? Oh, it's right here. And rampage inducer is on. Now we should be flying through these camos once this next round starts. And now we got enough for pack two, so I'm gonna run and get it before too many zombies start showing up. There we go. This is what pack punch two looks like. Not as cool as pack a punch one, but I do like the pattern on it. Zombies, if you would give me a second so I can look at the camo. It's like a hexagonal, almost honeycomb pattern. Jeez. The zombies really don't want me to show you guys this. Let me check out real quick right here. So I got like the slurp juice looking thing at top, but the secondary color is now green. I think the red looks a lot better with it, but to each their own. Uh-oh. Big uh-oh. I'm down. That's fun. We made it back up. I get knocked down, but I get up again. But you're never going to keep me down. Now let's pop this ring of fire. Now nothing's going to stop me. I'm all the way up. Should I get some perks back real quick? We'll get Jug. Let's grab Mule Kick. I'm going to have to save it for the rest of them. Uh-oh. We don't have that much ammo. Oh, we already shoot 500 something bullets. Somebody drop ammo for me, please. Okay, decoy's down. And I am out of here. What's up, ammo? Oh, shit. I'm too broke for ammo. All right, well, our damn near close to perfect crit ratio is about to go away. I got to use this nade. There we go. That's enough money. Oh, and there's ammo on the ground. Okay. Perfect. Oof. Okay, we made it through. Let me get quick revive back and death perception. And then these fine ladies are going to give me a max ammo after this round. It's so funny when cryo freeze activates on these guys and they just fall so slowly. There's hardly any ice effect like shown on them besides like near their feet. And they just like roll over and fall slowly. Like, come on. That's so dramatic. Uh-oh. Getting kind of crazy up here. There's our boundary camo. That's 750 crits. Oh, what's up, Panzer? Ring of fire. Oh, please don't go down again. Okay, we went down again. And okay, maybe the, the 1911's not that as crazy as I was thinking. Oh, please hit the zip line. I'm not going down three times in that spot. At least not twice in the same round. Okay, all right. That's a little tougher than I thought it would be. I need dead shot back right away. Thank you. Oh, Panzer. How's it going, pal? Nice to see you. Oh, I'm down again. Perfect. Well, real glad I bought dead shot back. Now we got to use the self revive, get quick revive back and hit the rope, please. And maybe the rampage inducer was a bad idea. Maybe it was a bad idea. These zombies are ruthless. This panzer needs to just die, please. I should also probably get armor too. That's probably what's hurting me the most here. Oh, and I'm low on ammo again. Panzer, drop ammo for me, please. Did that kill you? Or are you still alive? Okay, it's dead. Thank you for the ammo, sir. All right, well, uh, I'm going to go ahead, bring my tail between my legs and go back and turn this rampage inducer off because apparently we can't handle it. Get knocked in the same spot twice in the same round. Probably a good indication that this needs to be off. It was a nice round rampage inducer, but you got to go bye bye now. Please don't be expensive, dead shot. Oh my God, it's too expensive. All right, ring of fire time. Hopefully we can survive. I'm thinking we can. Not a single crit during that time though. Not good. Hey, hit the zip line. And while I'm down here, I'm going to see if I can run and upgrade my armor at all. We have to have enough scrap to do it by now. There we go. Level two and three. And give me dead shot back for the eighth time. Oh, and a max ammo. Beautiful. Now we can get some crits. Okay, mule kick. Come on down. So what's going to happen here is that we are like severely behind on points for this round. Like for these coming rounds to where our damage is not going to be able to keep up with these zombies for a little bit. Because we should be pretty close, if not already have pack a punch three. But uh, we don't because of uh oh wait there's rotten camo let's go because of some things out of our control like uh being dumb and going down 18 times so hopefully we can tough this out i'm not moving from this spot here i'm staying right where i can hit the zip line if i need to which is what i should have been doing this whole time okay let's go that's why we use it baby oh yeah i can see that damage catching up with us look at this some of these zombies going down one hit, but when they're like leveled up by the Tormentor, the, what is this thing called? Disciple? Takes a little bit longer to kill them. And this Disciple absolutely tanks shots. Jeez, there we go. No wonder this thing has 54 bullets in the mag. Oh, here comes a Panzer. Gonna ring a fire preemptively. Not gonna let him take me down this time. Perfect. Ring of fire. Cure to everything. 
Cure to all damage problems. It's like the Viagra of damage in zombies. I'm so ridiculously close to pack a punch three that I'm just going to sit here and wait by the pack a punch machine. Zombies need to spawn in right now. I'm picking them off the second they get here. There we go. One more. Maybe like a few more, actually. There we go. Perfect. Just enough. Oh, Mangler. You do not need to be here right now. There's pack three. Let's check it out. Beautiful. The gold accent. The purple and blue on the top. Clean. Until it gets to the piss and shit color, which I don't like. But hopefully the saws are damage problem now. Now we can sit up here and chill. But these camos here on Mauer, the pack crunch camos, they match this like Mason tier 100 skin so well. Absolutely beautiful. There's our drench camo, 1500 kills while it's packed. There's a thousand more. We're done with those. I think we're about at the halfway point of our crits. Oh, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. I'm sleep. I'm sleep. Stun. Let me out. 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 Let me out of here. Oof. I was close but yeah we're at 1128 crits and we need 2200 i'm pretty sure or maybe 2300 we got a lot of crits to get oh there's our threshold camo 1500 crits so we're at 1000 or 2300 crits so we're done i was close all right so we're on round 35 now this thing can't really hold its own up by the wonder fizz so what i've been doing is just jumping down here training around the tank until i get a ring of fire and then we head on up pop the ring of fire Use it till it's gone and then rinse and repeat. It's been working so... It's been working well so far. You know, I haven't been going down every round. I haven't gone down since the last time you guys seen. But it's definitely a lot slower than it would be just to be chilling up there. I'm trying my best. Let's try it out right here. Climbing on up. Giving it a few seconds for the zombies to come up. Don't want to waste that precious ring of fire time. I'll even get a few kills while we're waiting. Actually crazy for crits. And then we pop this. Hopefully we can hold them off. Oh yeah, we're doing fine. We're good. Ring of Fire is so insane. I don't know if this is new or not. I don't remember seeing this happen before, but Manglers keep getting stuck down at the bottom here. Wait. Oh shit. How'd you get up here? What the fuck? I was just looking at you down there. All right. Well, still dead nonetheless. Get sea bags right in the mouth. Also, after doing that for a bit, we finally have enough to get this thing to gold. Let's repair our armor. Get out of the turret fire. And we're chilling. I don't think I repaired my armor though. Either that or the turret immediately got rid of my armor. Uh-oh. And we went down again. Probably should have been paying attention to my armor. There's got to be one zombie that stays up here that I can take out without using my self-revive. This guy? Please? No, don't you jump down. Dickhead. All right, I guess I'm using it. Let's get some of my perks back. There we go. Get some crits as revenge. Holy shit, that's a lot of crits. I'm going to go grab a self-revive. Oh, we got max level. Let's go. First, get the armor back. And we're too broke for a self-revive, actually. So that sucks. I'm going to grab ammo. And then I think I'm going to need elemental pop. Otherwise, if I go down again, it's going to be impossible to get back up. There we go. Finally broke and bought elemental. Oh, there's our chemical camo. We're all done with our pack a punch kills. I think we're getting pretty close on crits, too. But we're damn near round 50 at this point. This is taking so long. This feels like running a marathon. Oh, there's gold viper. Let's go. We did it. Finally, it took 46 rounds when we got it. I think we might have enough time to run and make it to Xfil. Let's see if we can do it. Zombies, out of my way, please. Thank you. Head down here. Let's pop this open. Hit the radio. And let's get out of here. Still don't know the fastest way to Xfil on this map. I feel like it just takes forever. Going from rope to rope. All right, Kavenshko's getting here. He's waiting. Let's do one of these. I'm grabbing Gersh's. I never grab my self revive back, so there it is. You know what? Molotovs this time. Let's head on up. All right. You guys eat one Gersh. Enjoy that. I'll start working on the rest of you. Yeah, this thing does little to nothing against armored zombies. Basically against anything. It does nothing. This thing was getting so weak towards the end here. Oh, shit. That's 14 tormentors. Guess what? Fall into the black hole. Into the abyss. Some mollies for good measure. And might as well ring a fire too for the last three zombies. Where are they at? There's one more guy. There he is. Sleep. Get me out of here. All right, we're out. Oof. All right, our final stats, almost 3,000 eliminations, 2,299 crits, no revives, five downs. All right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and check out the camos on the 1911. Here is Gold Viper, and that is absolutely awful. This is the default gun. That's Gold Viper. Default, Gold Viper. Default, Gold Viper. Hardly any difference. Just a slide becomes Gold Viper. That's so disappointing. Like Diamond uh, gets a lot more flair. Yeah, the whole slide becomes diamond, the secondary color, that nice purple, not bad. And then dark aether, oh my god, that's awful. Why would they do that? What is this? Come on, they could have done so much better with this. Let me see if I have any blueprints that make it look better. Okay, so I only have two blueprints for this, so we'll check this one first. <laughs> this is a joke. Please look better. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it. At least we get the 
Nice pink trigger there. Little palm trees on the grip. Yeah, this definitely looks better. All right. Let's just see what it looks like in game. Jeez. All right. This is what the 1911 looks like in game with Dark Aether. This is just gross. It could look so much better, but we're just getting nothing but that complete void pattern. Absolute nothing. It's just like hint of purple. Was in the same room of purple one time. Oh, wait, here we go. Camel's starting to show up a bit. The blueprint definitely helps it. I mean, it looks better with the blueprint on it than it would without it. This is such a disappointing looking gun. Jeez, they could have done so much better with this thing. It's just awful. It's gross. It's grotesque, one might say. Let me try getting the laser off. Yeah, this is not a good looking weapon. Not in the slightest. Man, they really fumbled with the 1911. All right, well, I guess this is where we end the video. Uh, I'm, this is a very disappointing weapon. Uh, definitely thought it was going to do a lot better and thought it was going to look a lot better. So uh, double L's there. But with that, I'm going to end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave, leave. Jeez, go ahead and leave a like on it. I can't even speak. It's been so long. Uh, if, if you didn't and you don't dislike, uh, if you're new here, please consider subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.